What's up guys? It's a beautiful spring day. Me and my daughter Nevaeh are outside playing with some bubbles. And um, I just started thinking, you know, um, now that Trans World's over, give it a little more thought about what we're going to do this year for the haunt. Um, we've always done um, to where the kids would walk um, back to our garage and then go in our garage and then through the yard. You guys have seen the videos and how we did it. Um, but I'm thinking I don't want to do that this year. I want to do where the facade is in my front yard so no one passes it up and it's just a part of the front yard. It's something I've always wanted to do instead of having it to where you had to walk, you know, in the driveway to the garage. So, um, I got some possible ideas on what I'm going to do, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. I forgot to show you guys, I got my Haunt Forum hoodie in the mail. Got a Haunt Forum hoodie and a few stickers, which I'm going to use for the uh, subscriber contest. I'm still thinking of what I want to do, but I know that I need to have one because since the Trans World videos, I've had um, a shit ton of new subscribers. So thank you guys for doing that. And if I haven't subbed you back, let me know. I'll be glad to do that. Um, but hopefully, my next vlog is the subscriber contest. But the stickers are definitely going to be um, one of the prizes, but there will be more. So, uh, anyway, yeah, check out the Haunt Form hoodie. Um, this is it. So sick. Love it. Some awesome, awesome hoodie. Haunt Forum, Local 1031, Haunters Union. Yeah, that's what's up. Alright guys, so let me show you a little bit of my front yard. This is what I plan to do. Um, plan on having the, the grave over there, and the facade over there. And then, basically the facade will be in the front yard, kind of on the side there. And then, so they'll walk through the facade. And then, they'll come back this way. So I'm going to have to cover up the air conditioner so they don't hit that. And all, all this and over is mine, so nobody lives there, so... Um, make this like maybe like a dark hallway and have a little goon in it so they would walk you know through there and um, have the maze like here where which is last year it's where I had the uh, corn maze um, so I'll have the whole maze here and I'll have it done and uh, what I'll use is my um, uh, panels that I made and then have them secured with a garden post and that'll hold them into the yard just fine I mean I've never had a problem securing wall panels like that and it's an easy way to put up a quick maze so that's what I'll do for that um, I'll probably use the shack again maybe not I don't know but I'll have the maze come through um, and then they'll exit that way and go back out onto their onto their trick-or-treat journey so um, that's in an essence the whole idea for this year um, what I'm thinking right now that's what I'm gonna do um, so we'll see um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the corn maze again this year it was pretty hectic um, some people skipped it just because I think they were trying to uh, well there was a gap between the clown room and the corn maze and the shack and I think some people that some people just for whatever reason didn't go through it and it was a lot of <clears throat> hard labor cutting all that shit down just to have some people not go through it so um might do some um something with corn stalks but i don't know if i'm gonna do a full-on maze it's probably just gonna be um like i just said the wall panels and the rooms um back here in the backyard and that'll be it but it's it's gonna be cool I think it's gonna be the best haunt yet that we've done this will be our third year so um, yeah here's the haunt form sticker I got a couple of those so I'll definitely be giving one or two of those away 
All right, what else do I got to show you guys? I know that I had another thing I wanted to vlog about. Oh yeah, okay, so me and Jennifer, we went to, we like to go to yard sales, thrift stores, blah, blah, blah. So we went to this, thr we went to this, uh, bah, I can't talk today. We went to this thrift store. It was uh, like a Goodwill and um, <clears throat> just looking for haunt stuff because we're always looking for Halloween shit and um, I found a board game to one of my favorite shows as a kid. I still love the show. I got it on DVD. My kids watch it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember the old show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Well, they have a board game and it's pretty sweet. So I had to have it. So uh, check it out. I set it here on my little air hockey table and let you guys check it out. Let's get it open here. So here's the Nickelodeon board game of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, this game is so sweet, especially if you're a huge fan of the show, if you remember the show. Um, it comes with like secret passage cards, tools you can get to like help you win along the game. Um, just a real fun game. Um, me and my kids have played it. It's it's cool, man. I mean, if you remember, um, like Sardo's Magic Mansion. Um, Sardo was a character that was often like in a, you know several episodes, whatever. Uh, Foam Police, Zebos. Um, Sibo's Fun House, and um, yeah, it's just just a sweet game, guys. It's totally cool. I did not expect to find anything like this, so um, yeah. I don't know if you can still buy it. I imagine so on Amazon, eBay, that type of thing. But you know, I paid like you know, I think two bucks for it or something like that. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, Hopefully the next vlog we do the contest and I start some uh, builds for this year and um, you know spring summer's coming it's it's uh, gonna be the um, the start of build season at least for me anyway between you know work and summertime activities I'm gonna try to get some building going on get it all done so um, all right guys that's it till next time peace.